supply technical service manager and trainer. Uh, today we're going to talk about the Fujitsu AMUG multi-position air handler. This air handler is looking like a traditional air handler, but it is a Fujitsu air handler. So there are some major differences that we want to talk about. It comes in four tonnages, two, two and a half, three, and four ton, which means that you do have a couple different sizes. The two and two and a half ton are 42 inches tall and the three and four ton are 57 inches tall. All of them are 21 inch wide and 21 inches deep. You do have four positions. So out of the box, this thing is ready to go up flow or horizontal left. If you need to go down flow or horizontal right, there is a coil conversion that you have to do, flipping the coil 180 degrees so that the drain pan's in the right position. The EV is outside, all right? You do have to run piping to this unit. It's flare connections, as you can see. We're not sweating, right? We're not brazing like we normally would on a traditional air handler. So for this unit, you need to run 3 8 and 5 8 piping. That's for every tonnage, all right? And you're also bringing your power from your outdoor unit. But as far as line set lengths, the two and two and a half ton or 164 feet maximum, the three and the four ton or 230 feet maximum. Another important thing that we need to know is there's no internal filter rack on this, which means you do have to add an external filter rack and we can always help you out at Johnstone with those needs. Um, if you are doing a downflow position and you are putting in the accessory heat kit, then you need to use a combustible floor base. Right, so the RXHB21 is going to make sure that that base is leaving you far enough away from any kind of combustible materials so that we don't start a fire or, or hurt or damage any kind of property. Okay, We can use um, a couple of different accessories on this unit. The heat kit, as I mentioned, we also have the wired thermostat. This is what we recommend because it's going to be more traditional as what people are used to for the unit that you're replacing. So the niche for this unit is that it's using the existing ductwork up to one inch of static on this motor. It's fully variable speed, so you don't have to make any CFM adjustments. As long as you're under an inch of static, this unit's gonna provide the CFM that is proper for the application. You can also use a float switch since a lot of times these are gonna be replaced inside of an attic. So you're gonna have an auxiliary drain pan, the float switch that you can wire into um, terminal one and two on the control board. The Thermostat is also getting wired into the control board, and that's a Y1 and Y2 terminals that are on there. But it's important to remember that's not 24 volts. This again is the Fujitsu air handler, so that's DC voltage. If you wanna make sure that you're using just the thermostat as the control and eliminate the return air sensor that's in this unit, you can do that by going into the thermostat, into the function settings, and changing from function 42 from 00 to 01, and function 48 from zero, zero to zero, 01 as well. So what you did there is you're using the thermostat as the only control and you're eliminating the return air sensor. If you're using this heat kit, you have to also remember that there is a dip switch on the unit. It's switch 101-3, which you gotta make sure is in the on position. It comes like that from the factory, but you need to double check because we don't wanna burn the heat strip up. We are gonna have more information and more videos about this unit, especially trying to show you how to flip this coil if you need to go down flow or horizontal right, and those will be coming soon. But thanks for taking the time with us, and please come and see Johnstone Supply for any of your HVAC needs.